Okay, I hope you see this question on different internet pages and a lot of people discuss about the correct answer. One part of people tell that correct answer is 25, another part of people tell that correct answer is 1, and it turns into a big argument. And in this video, I'm going to fully explain you what is the correct answer, what is the correct approach. I'm going to fully show you these two interpretation, and I hope you will understand what is the correct answer to this question. So let's go and figure out this super simple math problem right here. And what we have is 10 divided by 2 times 5. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy. We have basic division, basic multi multiplication, so everyone learns this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. However many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so if you could do this without a calculator, put your answer into the comment section, I'll show you the correct answer here in just one minute, and then I'm going to kind of really emphasize an extremely important basic math concept that is going to be the reason why a lot of you are going to do this, to do this problem incorrectly. So two options, here is our question, choose one option, what is correct, and right now let's, let's try to solve it. So there are two interpretations of this solution. So take a look closely. I'm going to start with this interpretation. So this is our first interpretation. We have 10 divided by 2 and times times 5. Okay, this interpretation is how calculators works nowadays. So according to order of operation, division and multiplication, because we have only division and multiplication, so according to this, division and multiplication have the same precedence. So the correct order is to evaluate from left to right, okay? From left to right right here, from left to right, the first sign from left to right is this division, so we have 10 divided by 2 equal to 5, and we have 5 times 5 equal to, equal to 25. So this is our first interpretation, so this it gets to the correct answer 25. This is our option A. But I want to show you one really interesting moment right here, because some people have a different interpretation, and while it's not the correct answer today, it would have been regarded as the correct answer 100 years ago. So some people may, may have learned this order interpretation more recently, but this is not the way calculators would evaluate the expression nowadays. So it was our first interpretation, but I want to show you the second interpretation, okay? So imagine it was maybe 90, 70, so 100 years ago, and you see this problem, you see this problem 10 divided by 2 times 5. So you saw this problem in your textbook. So what would you think the author was trying to write? Because historically the symbol division was used to mean you should divide by the entire product on the right hand side, by the entire product on the right hand side of the symbol. It was 100 years ago. So under that interpretation we have 10 divided by a whole entire product. So I just put it in parentheses because I want to mention that we divide by a whole, by whole entire product. So we have 2 times 5. Okay? And right now we have order of operation because from this stage the rest of calculation works by the order of operation. So first we evaluate a multiplication inside parentheses because all the time parentheses is our first step. Doesn't matter what order of operation you select because every order of operation is in agreement about the first step. Yeah? So for example PMDMC the first step is, is parentheses. Okay? So let's do this. So we have 10 divided by 2 times 5 equal to equal to 10. And very simple division in our last step, we have 10 divided by 10 equal to equal to 1. This is our option B. And if you look closely, this first interpretation gives us 25. The second interpretation gives us gives us 1. And here is maybe the main question. What is the correct what is the correct answer from this two interpretation? 1 or 25? I want to explain you this option, option B, this is 1. This gives us the result of 1. This is not the correct answer that calculators will evaluate. Rather, it's what someone might have interpreted the expression according to older usage. So this is our older usage. I want to write it, maybe uh, this is 90, 70 years, maybe 100 years ago. And this is our older, older, this is our older usage. This is our older usage usage solution. So this how calculators works 100 years ago, this how calculators works nowadays. But I want to explain you this second case. So take a look closely. Because a lot of students forget to put parentheses nowadays. Take a look. For example, we have x squared y divided by maybe let's go with x y. Okay, we have this expression. And we divide this x squared y by what? By x, by y, by x times y. So if you want to mention that we divide this x squared y by a whole expression on the right hand side, so as right here, just we should put parentheses, okay? This is a very important step because a lot of students forget about parentheses. Just put parentheses and everything will be okay. If you want to mention that we divide by a whole entire expression, just put parentheses. Then this expression will be divided by this x, y, the entire product, parentheses of our first step. So we multiply it first and then we divide this x square y by this 
entire entire product. So I hope you understand this second interpretation. This is our older usage. So this is not the correct answer that calculators will evaluate. Rather, it's what someone might have interpreted the expression according to older usage. So this is our older usage. Right now, let's go right here. So a lot of students discuss about this solution. A lot of students say, okay, let's let's write it as a fraction. Okay, maybe someone changed right here. Let's look at it. Doesn't matter. 10 divided by 2, let's write as a fraction. So we have 10. 10 over 2 times 5. Okay, let's look at it. Maybe someone change. Take a look closely. 10 divided by 2 equal to 5. And we have 5 times 5 equal to equal to 25. So if you don't trust me, you can easily check it into your uh, scientific or graphing calculator. Maybe you, you use your regular calculator. We will have the same answer because calculators know about order of operation. So every time you, you plug in this expression on maybe internet libraries, doesn't matter what you select, every time you will have option option A, 25. This is our older usage, so forget about it. It's really good to know how people solved this question 100 years ago, but this is not how calculators works nowadays. Correct answer according to this is 25. You can easily check it into scientific or graphing calculator. It will be really interesting. Write your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think? What do you think is a correct answer? And of course, definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, you can easily subscribe to my channel. I have a a ton of videos, I have a lot of videos about this order of operation, about this question, so I hope you will enjoy it. So correct answer is option A to our question. I hope you I hope you learn something new. And of course, definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. On the other hand, I if you made this error, I'm happy you made this because you won't make this error again. You'll be like, okay, we have an algebraic expression. Let's apply order of operation. But right now, let's let's think about what interpretation we should use because this is our older usage interpretation. So it's not good to use this interpretation nowadays. Let's apply this order of operation uh, from left to right. PMDMC, Bodmas, doesn't matter in our case. So I hope you learned something new. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.